I'm Peter, and welcome to another edition of F5 Dev Central's Lightboard Lessons. By now, you've probably heard the term the Internet of Things, or as I like to call it, the Internet of Nouns. This is where your refrigerator, your toaster, heck, your toilet has a sensor in it, it's gathering data, and it is connected to the Internet. There's a subset of IoT called IIoT, or the Industrial Internet of Things. And this includes areas like manufacturing, or farming, or utilities, or even automotive. By 2020, they expect close to 100 million connected cars on the road. So let's light up how Big IP, Big IP can help in a connected car environment. That's uh, Wi-Fi, by the way. <laughs> you can figure that out. So this is how it's kind of set up. So we have our, our vehicle uh, backend applications here. OK. Now this would be your core message broker, ER, and this would be your core setup. Now, say there's a software update from the backend application. So this communicates with the core message broker. And then going down, you have your edge brokers, your edge brokers, and there's probably a few down here. We got one, we got two, we got three, we got four, and then down here we'll have our vehicle. How's that? Not too bad for a vehicle. And we got other uh, vehicle over here. This is the new sport edition of whatever we're connecting to. Now, this could also be things like, you know, tractors or utility poles or weather sensors or anything uh, sort of along those lines. Now, in this particular use case and scenario, we're partnering um, with a company called Solus. C E. And they are the ones who kind of make these mess, not kind of, they make these message brokers, these message routers. And the particular protocol that we're using in this scenario is MQTT, message queuing telemetry transport. There's a Lightboard lesson on this you can check out. So software app comes in, goes to the core message broker. Now the core message broker then sends that information to your edge brokers. And there's multiple edge brokers because you know as cars, as added cars get connected, you're gonna need uh, the additional brokers. Now the key in all this really is making sure that there's the one-to-one -one mapping or the persistence to their specific edge message broker. And so where does F5 come in and the big IP? So usually you think, right, the big IP would sit um, up here in front of all the applications and, and doing uh, health and, and that kind of availability stuff on the backend apps. But in this particular scenario, Big IP is actually sitting on the edge and connecting with the cars. So as the uh, message comes down, the core message broker then tells the edge message brokers, here's a software, up, software update for these particular vehicles that are that are out there the software update say comes to message broker one message broker one then communicates it to car number one now say if car number one you know is not connected at the time is in the tunnel um for whatever reason and then once it comes out of the tunnel it still needs to connect back to that specific one number one message broker and that's where big ip comes in so via i rules so first this is version 13 of Big IP, which supports MQTT protocol. And so the first thing we'll do is just um, some basic security. Big IP is a full proxy architecture, so kind of protecting this um, set of edge brokers. We'll also persist 
do the persistence, the one-to-one -one persistence, so that when this vehicle comes back online, it connects to uh, Message Broker 1. So there's always that mapping one-to-one -to, -one, um, to the particular broker so it knows that this particular car needs the update. And this is kind of um, important as more cars come online, then you'll have your pool of brokers to then service the various cars uh, that are out there. Also, if there's security involved, we'll do the TLS termination right here from the vehicles going MQ, uh, TT back and forth. It's also this architecture is kind of decoupled where um, this guy up here, the core message broker doesn't, it just kind of sends the message out. And because of MQTT is the uh, subscribe and publish, the cars are subscribing to software updates. And once that software update gets pushed down, the new message comes along, it then gets alerted there's a new message and then just comes back to the edge broker uh, to get the update rather than having to travel all the way back. So this is kind of decoupled and you kind of don't have to worry. One doesn't have to necessarily worry about the other, but big IP will keep that persistence, the one-to-one -one, um, and the protection of the brokers so that you can just keep adding more cars online. And if necessary, you add another broker and that broker becomes part of the pool and you just continue to grow your fleet within this connected car infrastructure. It's kind of neat, um, this whole IoT and the connected car scenario. I'm probably going to keep my 2005 Forerunner so that I can show my grandchildren that this is a car that has a steering wheel. Those will be our antiques in years to come. So how Big IP plays in a connected car environment, partnering with Solus. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. I'm Peter, and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the community.